Hey everybody, welcome to week five. So, uh, yeah, I cannot believe that uh, it's already week five. I, like, I finished week five. I am, I'm amazed at time. I think I, I say this all, uh, all the time in my videos, but it just keeps going. Time just keeps going, and sometimes that's a good thing, and sometimes that's a, a weird thing, and sometimes it's a bad thing, but yeah, we're here. So I'm gonna keep this video brief again. Uh, I've gotta go to work. <laughs> And uh, next week, next week, just as a reminder, is my official six-week weigh-in video. And uh, it's Good Friday, so I actually don't have work. So I'm hoping to make a bit like longer of a, a video update because six weeks doing keto, um, I'm, I'm excited to see what the, what the results are. I'm seriously hoping for at least six pounds uh, lost because I'm realizing that, you know, I, I've been saying this in my videos that I think I just need to be okay with a slower weight loss. I I kind of am trying to like respect my body and where it's at and where it's at right now is just simply not at this let's lose a ton of weight overnight, which I think in my early 20s it used to be like that. And as I'm, you know, getting a little older, I think that it becomes more and more challenging for my body to lose weight quickly. It has no problem gaining weight quickly, but it seems to have a problem with like losing weight really fast. I have been in ketosis this entire time, so any pound that I lose, I think I can confidently say, maybe after the first couple of pounds, that those are actually pounds of fat because that is how my body is burning um, its its fuel source, or, or sorry, that that's what it's using as its fuel source. So uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. If I get on the scale and it's like, you've gained 10 pounds, then we're going to reevaluate like everything. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. So before I give you guys my measurements for today, remember every week I am trying to do the measurements and I'll say it's, it's, they're not as exciting as like pounds. Um, but you know, I'm still excited that the number is going in the right direction. I wanted to say that, um, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, I'm super excited because, uh, I'm going to call it a non-scale goal because it's not a victory yet. I haven't, I haven't done it, but as you guys know, I have a Peloton bike and I've had it for a little over a year. Tomorrow I've scheduled this out is my 300th ride. And there is a class that's being offered tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. And it's a 75 minute power endurance ride with one of my favorite Peloton coaches. So for those of you who don't know, if you, uh, if you have a Peloton, you have the option of doing these live rides where you, you're riding with others around the world, basically, and you can see them on like the leaderboard, or you have the option of doing pre-recorded uh, rides. And typically I do the pre-recorded ones just because my schedule doesn't align with the live, you know, um, schedule. So, but tomorrow I want to do my, my number 300 live with, uh, my coach, Matt Wilpers. I call him my coach because I love him. I have a huge crush on him. Uh, there's no denying that. And if you get a Peloton and you start following Matt Wilpers, you also will develop uh, a burning crush on him. Okay, so long story short, uh, they also, if you ride live and you hit a milestone, like, oh, it's your 100th ride, it's your 300th ride, or 500, I've seen people have like 2,000 rides done. Sometimes the coaches will shout you out. So my username is Redhead Rider, and I'm so hoping that Matt, because we're going to be together for 75 long minutes tomorrow morning, yeah, I'll be competing with like 2,000 other people writing, but um, I'm so hoping that he sees my name and he shouts me out and I will record that for everybody. So that's a non-scale uh, goal. And hopefully by the next time I make the video next week, I can confidently tell you guys, you know, how, how it went. I know I'm going to be exhausted on Saturday, but it's, I feel like it's worth it. And I'm going to go to bed early tonight and, um, yeah, I just, I really want to reach that goal. Like, as you guys know, if you've been following my channel, you know that I really love cycling. And uh, last year I did a 50 mile bike ride. Like that was my goal. 
and uh, and these are not related to weight loss, right? I did that goal when I was, I think I was like 172 pounds or something like that. So um, it was just a goal that I had, like a fitness goal. And so that's what, how I see tomorrow, it's a fitness goal. Okay, so measurements. Another perfect week, basically, I do you know want to reiterate that. Um, I had a couple of work socials where I wasn't tracking, but everything was keto friendly that I that I ate. And there was even this like, oh God, there was so much like dessert that I just said no to. I, I went for the fruit that I can't have on keto, like the berries and the strawberries. And um, there was this like crusted salmon like it was crusted with something sweet. So I got the salmon. I was like, I have to take off the top of this because I don't know what it is. And I accidentally like put some of it in my mouth and I was like, oh my God, that's like pure sugar. Like that is such a good idea to put on salmon, but I can't have this. So uh, I think I did fairly well, but uh, there was just one day where I didn't like track, um, you know, the what I was eating. So um, either way, I think that's fine. I was still in ketosis the next day. Um, I need some dinner ideas, guys. If you do keto, like I need some more variety because I'm, I'm in that middle part of this journey, like the middle 30 is what I'm going to call it. Um, the middle 30 days. And I like realize when I get home, instead of eating a meal, I just snack on keto friendly things. Like this is going to sound really sad, <laughs> but like lunch meat or, uh, almonds, or, you know, like I don't, I don't have like a, when I first started the journey, I think I, I had the time, maybe that's what it is. I have the time to like cook things and make a, like a keto casserole and make that, you know, have that for the week. So if you have any recipes that you would uh, be willing to share with me that are like for dinner meals, if you're on keto, let me know. I just need some more variety. Okay. So measurements last week, I measured my waist at 35.8. And this morning I measured in at 35.6. So that is a, uh, I'll call it a loss, a shrink. Of, I went down by 0.2 inches. Yay. <clears throat> then my hips, excuse me. Then my hips. Uh, last week I was 45.8. And this week I am 45.6. So yeah, I, like I said, I'm headed in the right direction. I feel amazing. My skin feels better. Like there's so many things. There's so many benefits for me, for, for this body, um, in doing keto. And, and so I'm, yeah, like I'm, I'm happy. So thank you all for watching. And I look forward to next week, which where I hope I can We'll have a loss, a weight loss. Let's just, let's pray to the, the weight loss gods. Um, thank you all so much. And I hope that you are all crushing your goals. And I will talk to you next week.